In this second tutorial on the distributive rule, we look into some slightly more complicated examples. And the first one we work through is shown here. We have 2x times, in parentheses, 3x plus 5. To open up this pair of parentheses, all we need to do is to distribute this factor, 2x, to each of the terms inside this pair of parentheses. And remember, since this 2x is multiplying these parentheses, when we distribute, it will multiply each of the two terms inside it. So we can go ahead and state that this equals to 2x times 3x, where we've just distributed the 2x to the first term inside the parentheses. And now, since the operation between the two terms is an addition, we write plus 2x times 5, where I've distributed the 2x to the second term inside the parentheses. And now we need to rearrange and simplify this as much as possible. And to do that, an important thing to remember is that multiplication is commutative. What that means is that we can change the order of the terms in any multiplication. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as 2 times 3 times x times x plus 2 times 5 times x. We now simplify as much as possible and we write that this equals to 2 times 3, which is 6, times x times x, which is x squared, plus 2 times 5, which is 10, times x. So that's 10x. And we're done. We've just opened up this pair of parentheses using the distributive rule. Let's look at another example. Say we have to open up the parentheses that we see here. Well, once again, we do this by distributing the factor, which in this case is 3x squared, to each of the terms inside this pair of parentheses. In other words, we can state that this equals to 3x squared times 2x cubed, where we've just distributed the factor of 3x squared to the first term inside the parentheses 2x cubed, and now making a note of the operation between the two terms, which is minus, we write minus 3x squared times 5x where we've just distributed the 3x squared to the second term inside these parentheses. We can now change the order of the terms in each of these two products to write that this equals to 3 times 2 times x squared times x cubed minus 3 times 5 times x squared times x. And now simplifying as much as possible, we write that this equals to 3 times 2, which is 6, times x squared times x cubed. And now x squared times x cubed, well that's equal to x to the power of 2 plus 3, which is equal to x to the power of 5. So the first term becomes 6x to the power of 5, minus 3 times 5, which is 15, times x squared times x. So that's just x cubed. And we're done. We've just opened up this pair of parentheses using the distributive rule.